simple. It's a place that's got everything. It's, it's got everything. It's got uh, uh, great towns, restaurants, pubs. It's got beaches. It's got sea cliffs. It's got Somerset levels. It's got canals. It's got everything you could possibly ever want as a crime author, plus everything you could possibly want as a holiday destination or somewhere to live. I just think it's got everything. It's got everything. I would say my best kept Somerset secret is Barrow Beach, actually. I just love Barrow Beach. I always visit Barrow Beach whenever I can, always with my dogs. Park at Barrow Church, skip across the golf course uh, before the golfers hit you with their golf balls and out onto the beach. And it is a well kept secret actually, Barrow Beach I think. Um, on a weekday during the school term time you can have the place to yourself um, with your dogs and it's fantastic. You can go for miles. Wonderful. If it's a, let's assume that it's a summer's day, so we've got lots of daylight hours. Then the other two things that I would add on to a walk on the beach and a meal in the pub are either a game of golf at Burnham and Borough, which is one of the best courses in the country, if not the world, or a few hours fishing on the Somerset Levels, because you can't get better fishing than the Somerset Levels. Favourite places to eat and drink in Somerset? Well, I'd have to start with the Red Cow in Brent Knoll, which is the pub that my detective inspector goes in, Nick Dixon. Always in the Red Cow. Great pub, great food. Um, having said that, Nick Dixon and my favourite meal is a curry, a tandoori. So we're, he and I are regularly in the Zalshar, which is a curry house in Burnham on Sea. Um, sounds really daft in a way, but one of my favourite meals is actually a bag of chips on the seafront at Burnham-on-Sea. I do love a bag of chips. I even mentioned that in the author's note of As the Crow Flies, which is my first novel. I say, if you're ever passing by, have a bag of chips on the seafront at Burnham-on-Sea. There's several restaurants in Taunton, but and the Willow possibly in Taunton, that's a good one. I'd say I, Nick Dixon and takes his uh, fiance, I can call her now, without revealing too much, to the Willow on Valentine's Day in Taunton. That's a, a, a posh night out. So yeah, the, the Red Cow and the Zalsha are the main venues. That's an easy question to ask. That is, guys, I, I was born and brought up here. It's home. Um, I know it like the back of my hand. And it seemed the obvious place to set the books. There's everything you could possibly need here. My first book was going to be about rock climbing, so I got Cheddar Gorge. And um, the beaches. My detective inspector, Nick Dixon, is always walking on the beach looking for inspiration with his dog and it just seemed the obvious place, the obvious place. Uh, yes is the short answer to that, yes. I mean, at the end of As the Crow Flies, I say to people, if you're ever passing by on the M5, stop off in, in Burnham, have a look at the beach, have a bag of chips on the seafront. And I do get emails from people who are saying, oh, I'm coming to Somerset, where should I go? I mean, you know, where, where shall I eat? What shall I visit? And I always give them a long list of places to go and see. Cheddar Gorge, the beach, the Somerset levels, all sorts of different places which are fantastically interesting.